This video is about outsourcing software development outside the U.S. and how to select the best location for a business in California. Well, in the beginning, life was simple and we had the USA, which is here, but then somebody went and renamed it onshore even though it didn't move. To be fair, the term onshore came as a reaction to the term offshore, which was meant to indicate the rest of the world, but it turned out to be India. China and Eastern Europe are kind of part of it, but offshore really means India. As a further reaction, somebody came up with the term nearshore, which is somewhere between offshore and onshore, but much closer. And that turned out to be Canada. So, according to this particular myth, your choices are to outsource to a faraway place to save lots of money, or to just hire more people in-house at a much higher cost. Of course, the things are never that simplistic. For one, you will not save nearly as much as anybody would have you think. In fact, there are other more significant costs to offshoring that you need to consider. And for another, you do have options for finding great talent nearby and still save money. The key then is to look for what is best for your business. To figure out what this means for a software product development company in California, draw a line two time zones out. There's Alaska and Hawaii, but we'll ignore them. What's left inside this band is the most effective zone to look for outsourcing solutions. We cut off everything outside this band, so there goes the original 13 colonies, we don't need them. And now we can add Canada, Mexico, and Central America. Although in the case of Canada, unless you plan to hire Caribou to do your programming, this really means the populated portion of Canada. So now the question is, which of these is the best option for you? Some people would have you believe that cost is everything, and the best choice is the cheapest location. That is absolutely not true. But it is another well-established myth. Well then, let's do the red-blooded, all-American thing, and follow the money. Let's look at each locale and see how they stack up when you consider the total cost of engagement and not just the dollar per hour rates. Take Eastern Europe. It has pretty high overhead, added costs in travel and distance, it has fairly high hourly rates, and there's a little matter of over eight time zones of separation. So this is not an optimal location for a U.S. business. How about India and China? Well, they both have high overhead, particularly because of the big cultural gap. Also, they're pretty far away and it's expensive to get there and they're more than 12 time zones away. So they too are less than optimal outsourced locations, particularly for a software product development company in the U.S. Okay then, what about Canada? Well, it has the advantage of proximity, but it starts out with pretty high rates and a shortage of developers just like the U.S. So that takes it out of the running. That leaves Mexico and Central America as the primary candidates for outsourcing with the lowest total cost of engagement for a U.S. business. More importantly, working with people in the same time zone eliminates the morale and communication problems associated with having teams far apart in distance, time, and culture. Thank you very much for your time.